It's the video that lit up the internet today. An alligator nearly as long as an SUV, sauntering from one marsh to another, and stunning onlookers nearby. It was just awe-inspiring. Christy Buckley was just wrapping up a morning hike with her husband, Sean, when the gator started to move. That's them right there lying on the ground, capturing these still pictures from the other angle. And yes, he's just as big from that side, too. So my husband and I are calling him Godzilla because that's kind of what he looked like going across the path. Hello, everyone. Tampa Jay here, and welcome to the jungles of South Central Florida, less than 50 miles from Disney World. I'm on the quest for the world's largest North American alligator here today at Circle B Park in Lakeland, Florida. And I'm out here today to go and try to find it. We're on the quest. You're coming with me. Thanks for joining me. There is much ahead. Looks like I've already found some wildlife. Check out the wild boars. Whoa. It's a whole family. Trying to be careful. I've, I've obviously spooked them. Oh man, there they go across the road. They're fast. You gotta be careful. Oh, there's, there's quite a bit of them. I really don't have much of a plan. This park is full of nature trails. It's very beautiful out here, very secluded and quiet. A little too quiet. I've spotted my first alligator, and he's not little at all. He's actually really big and really close. I'm less than 10 feet away. Look at that power and that beauty. I've actually got cold chills, but he is really close, folks. And even though we're searching for one that's much larger, he's pretty big. It looks like he's sleeping. We won't bother him. Circle B Park has a few attractions. There is a Lost Bridge, the Heron Hideout, Tree Frog Trail, and Shady Oaks. We are in the swamps of the south. The good old Florida terrain. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. And I'm on a hunt for the gator. Indicated here, alligators live here. It says alligators are opportunistic, taking easily accessible prey. Wait, I see I'm trying to stay quiet. Keep my eyes open. Signs posted everywhere of the flora and fauna. This one is designated here for the plants. It tells you all the different types of species of plants. It's really beautiful. The birds are over there in the swamp. Just trying to say hello. Photobombing. I am not an expert, but this looks like some kind of controlled dam to the marsh. I'm assuming this allows water to flow back and forth between the marshy swamp area. Check out the osprey. I believe those are osprey. Just lingering around the top here in this beautiful Buena Vista. All right, I got word from a local that if we're going to find the big alligator, it's gonna be down this way. Just out beyond those purple pretty flowers, there's one sunbathing. You can barely see his backside. Right there. See him? Out there, there's a turtle. I'm gonna get close, but not too close. I remember that scene from Crocodile Dundee. Do you? Oh man. It looks like we have come to a bridge over troubled waters. I notice a lot of people out here sightseeing with cameras. Check this out, looks like a bird. This must be a bird observatory. Look out. Kind of hides you. So you don't speak the birds. Look how gorgeous this is. All kinds of beauty in Central Florida. 
Oh, well, not just Florida. Everywhere. You just gotta go find it. I believe this is an alligator snapping turtle. Hey, Mr. Squirrel. What you looking at? Say hello. I think that was a hello. We've spotted our third alligator. Let's say he's about a four footer. These are the ones you gotta worry about. These are the little quick ones. But I'm sitting here, I'm probably less than six feet away. Oh man. We're coming up on an opening. And possibly the site where the world's largest alligator was sighted. It's starting to look familiar from that news report. I pinpointed it, I think. I've been walking for almost an hour now. It's still no luck. I think I'm gonna head this way. This is an observation booth, just to chill and watch the wildlife. So I just got word from some local folk that there are two alligators ahead. As you can see, not even a foot off the walking trail. And I'm passing what looks to be a 12 foot gator. I'm not stopping, I'm going slow. Look at this bad boy. Holy cow. And see, this just proves gators aren't a nuisance until you mess with them. Don't ever feed a gator. Don't ever yell or run toward it. Just be calm, cool, and collective. And he shall do the same. He shall do the same. Mother Nature's way of saying, don't test me. And I should treat you nicely. How you doing, Gator J? Oh wait, you're not Gator J. Gator J's back at Old Bar, at the Old Bar Flea Market. Gator Joe is in Ocala. What's your name? This Gator. Circle B. I'm searching for your cousin Godzilla. Mr. Old Humpback. Have you seen him lately? No? I think he's sleeping. Come on. It's like just across the street. I found an eight foot gator. He's a little older. Now, I feel like I must say, whatever you do, don't try this at home, kids. Do not do this. I'm doing this for you, so you don't have to. Keep out. Why every time I see that, I just want to go check it out, but no, I better keep out. So common courtesy is I warned this group here that there was a 12 foot gator on the right and an eight foot gator on the left because most people are gonna freak out. There was actually a kid back there. He freaked out when he saw the gator and he hightailed it the other way and he wasn't going past that gator. But yeah, I always let people know their surroundings be social. We are social bees. We are social animals, just as Socrates or Aristotle, one of those dudes, said. But be kind and let them know that there's much ahead. I took a fork in the road and I'm aiming my way back around the lake and notice how the terrain changed so suddenly. A little bit drier over here. And more pine trees. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. Woo! If you got a smartphone, there is a self guided tour. Just download the app or scan. And this is saying that there's eagles close to us. Here's the actual span of the eagle. Ah! Wish we could see one. I believe I found some sort of ruin. I 
foundation of what may have used to have been some kind of shack or house. The wall looks very old. Let's walk around it, let's explore it. And watch our feet, of course. Ain't much to it. It's kind of beautiful just sitting here rotting away where the eagles dare. My bad, like I said, keep your eyes peeled. Don't just look at your feet. Look up too, I apologize. Here's the fifth gator I've seen. He's just over there. He's kind of in the water. But I think he's looking for lunch over here. And he's a smart one. He's looking for that bird right there. There he goes. He's in the hunt. Watch out, buddy. Should we warn him? Get him. Let's see what this historic cow camp exhibit is all about. And also, Lost Bridge. I'm assuming we're approaching the historic cow camp. Looks like an old well. The old pump. Don't think it's operational. So on this site back in the day, this was a giant cattle ranch, and looks like they have demonstrations out here to represent what is Florida cracker country, the pioneer cattleman of Florida. I'll put a link to my cracker country video to give a better explanation what a cracker is. I'm a little distorted. I'm trying to find the lost bridge, and I believe if I follow these blue markers, it'll lead me there. However, this trail doesn't look like it's been walked upon lately. I think it's a little funny that I'm searching for a lost bridge and I'm a little lost. I did find these random blankets laying in this clearing in front of this lonely shed in the middle of nowhere. I wonder if someone slept under the stars last night. Be very, very quiet. What we have here are some fiber class poopers. I have found life. I wonder if they know where Lost Bridge is. I want to remind you that we are still looking for the world's largest alligator. It doesn't look very lost to me. It actually looks very new. I'm not so sure that this is the bridge. Actually, I don't think it is, but let's explore this one. All right, so I just asked a couple more locals and they said that this is actually Lost Bridge. It's beautiful. Not as lost as I thought it would be. But still, gorgeous. If only that giant gator would walk out from underneath it at this very moment. We'll pause in hopes. I'll be quiet. Nope, nothing. Burr, burr, burr right off the end of the bridge as the trail starts to narrow into the forest there's this marker marking a little history of the beginning of florida citrus 
this kind of gives you the history of Florida Citrus. It says 1513. The squeeze on Florida Citrus history. Although Citrus Gardens gradually migrated southward from central and northern regions after a series of freezes, Polk County, Polk County remains the top citrus producer in the state. Wow, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, whew. I thought that was a gator stretching across the trail. It's just a log my heart jumped out of my chest. But check how beautiful this area is. And I don't think we're gonna go much further than this. This is the end of it. Dry land. Swamp land. Well guys, I apologize for the epic fail. No dice, no world's largest alligator. However, I was talking to some locals and they said it is very unlikely to see him, but I have high hopes and that's why I shall return. I shall return in the future. This time with a little more time, I'll probably spend the entire day out here, lay low, stay quiet, and hopes to give it another shot because I want to see this thing. And of course, I want you to see it too. But I hope you still had a good time checking out the alligators we did see, Mother Nature, the beauty, the sun, the green. There is a jungle in Florida and it's everywhere and it's easy to obtain. Anyone can come out here to Circle B Park, not Circle K. How about you give it a try? Maybe you come out here, maybe you'll have better luck than I did. But thank you so much for hanging with me. Wasn't really trying to clickbait. I really thought I was gonna find it. Sometimes things don't work out the way you want them to. But I'm glad you're here. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because you never know where I'm gonna go and I will find that Godzilla Gator one day. I will lay my eyes upon it and you will too. There is much ahead my friends. Always much ahead. Mm -hmm.